Okay, you've now seen lesson three on uh, patterns and on iterative patterns. And so in that lesson, the professor talked a little bit about how you can take strings and substrings. For example, if he has something called text, and if text is equal to, let's just say the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. And what he did on the board was he typed some pseudocode. He said, well, if I take text and I do 1, 3, then what that does is that gives me from position 1 up to everything less than position 3. It doesn't actually include 3. So remember, we start counting at 0. So 0, 1, 2, and I would ignore the position 3. So this would be A, B, C is what that would give us. That's called a substring, and in the lesson he called that slicing, the ability to slice. And that's a computer science concept. Again, he said if he had text with four and then a colon and left it like that, what it would do is it would begin at the fourth position <clears throat> and then go all the way to the end. So remembering that we start at zero, zero, one. This is RL if you're in the building. Would you please pass the office? Recording videos can never be perfect. <laughs> okay, zero, one, two, three, four. So it starts at E and then goes all the way to the end of Z. So this right here would give me that. Okay, so everything that he did on the board was pseudocode. It's a computer science concept. Well, now the question is how do we do this slicing concept in Java? It's pretty easy actually. So what I've done. Is I've created a class called substring test, and I've created an instance variable string called s, and I've made it equal to the alphabet. Now, if I want to get any substring, or if I want to slice from that string, all I have to do is I'm going to print it out system.out.println s dot, use the has a dot, and a method called substring is in Java. And so let me type in 3 comma 10. Well, what's that going to do? It's going to give me a substring starting at the third position up to everything less than the tenth position. So let's count this out. 0, 1, 2, 3. So it's going to start at D. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's going to go up to J. So if I run the code, and there it is, D-E-F-G-H-I-J. All right, well, what if I want to select a portion of the string uh, that begins at a position and goes all the way to the end? Well, what I do is I say, let's just say 6. So what that does is that gets the 6th position, starting at 0, gets the 6th position, and then goes all the way to the end. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's going to start at G and then go all the way to Z. And there it goes, G all the way to Z. So the way that we do slicing in Java is by using the substring method in Java. And that's how we do slicing.